All right. Particles that take 1.56 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds to decay on average are sped up so that the average lifetime is now um, 2.31 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. What is the speed of the particles? How far do they travel before decaying? Which is, of course, how you, you know, determine uh, the time it takes to decay, right? Okay, so let's see. So, so uh, what is the speed? Well, we're going to use uh, this notion here, right? So 2.31 times 10 to the minus sixth is equal to 1.56 times 10 to the minus sixth. This is, by the way, you know, proof that, uh, you know, time dilation, whoops, oh, <laughs> occurs, right? One minus V squared over C squared, right? Um, <clears throat> is that right? Yeah, well, that's right. Uh, and you can, you know, what, you put it in your solver, Okay, but these things always work out to this. Well, the velocity is c times the square root of 1 minus the small thing, which is 1.56, right, times 10 to the minus 6th squared over the big thing. Okay, so that is going to be the square root of 1 minus... 1.56 squared divided by 2.31 squared. And that's 0 0.7375 C or 0.738, the speed of light, right? Okay, how far do they travel before decaying? Well, we're going to see them, if, if we watch these particles, right? This is the actual time that they take to decay because they are moving, right? Okay, so the distance that they travel is going to be the velocity times the time. And the velocity is 0 0.7375 times the speed of light, right? 3.00 meters per second. And then the time is going to be 2.31 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Okay, we can do this. So that times 3e e to the 8 times 2.31 e minus 6. I get 511 meters. All right. 